Climbing a mountain requires persistence while starting fresh on a new one takes courage. I believe that men should be able to make decisions. And this video will help you to master the art of decision making. It's all about the dip. No, I'm not talking about the homemade dip that your wife makes for you. And no, I'm not talking about cold dips in the kiddie pool, fun as they are. No, I'm talking about a book that I read recently called The Dip, written by Seth Godin. It's about quitting the wrong stuff, sticking with the right stuff, and having the guts to do one or the other. It changed the way I think about making important decisions, and it could save your life. So I'm going to be sharing some personal examples, but first a little context. In this book, Seth talks about three different kinds of curves. The first one is the dip, and almost everything in life is dictated by this dip. In the beginning, when you first start something, it's fun. Initially, the rapid learning that you're experiencing keeps you going, and then the dip happens. That dip is the odyssey between starting something and mastery of it. The second kind of curve is called the cul-de-sac, and that's a French term that means dead end. It's the kind of situation where you work and work and not much changes, things aren't really getting better and they're not getting a whole lot worse either. And the dead end can be really dangerous because it prevents you from doing something else. So if you find yourself in a cul-de-sac, you need to get off it because the opportunity cost of investing your whole life in something that won't improve is just too high. And the third kind of curve in the book is called the cliff. The cliff is the kind of situation where you can't quit until you fall off and then everything just smashes apart. So now I want to get into some of the more details about the dip. The dip is actually the key to success in any meaningful project. And if there's one thing I want you to take away from all of this, it's this. The dip is why you're here. Think of all the investments you made in energy, time, and money to get to this moment. All of it so you can confront this dip right now. That's what it's all about. And you get the gold at the end of the rainbow when you embrace this dip and treat it like the golden opportunity that it really is. 